Finally tonight, when it comes to travelling during the pandemic, some of the mammals we see in the Thames haven't had any problems hopping from country to country. But there's now a warning that the numbers of seals visiting the capital from overseas has declined due to an increase in human activity on the water. Sally Williams has more. It's not a bad office for the morning and not a bad view. It feels a long way out from London here in Ramsgate, but this is actually the Thames estuary and it doesn't take long to find what we're looking for. Hello. Hello. I do feel like they're looking at me. They're quite friendly. Every single one's got a different character. We've got uh, the odd one who thinks he's a porpoise and he will, or a dolphin and he will be showing off. The annual seal count has been taking place since 2013 by the Zoological Society of London. The numbers of grey and common seals are counted when they're molting and more likely to be found sunning it on the sand. Some of these seals may well have travelled further than you and me this year, maybe popping over to Belgium or up the coast, and some will have gone more than 60 miles all the way up the Thames as far as Teddington. And their numbers help tell the story of the river. They are um, a high predator, they feed on fish in the estuary, and they tell us that... Um, the Thames is, is full of life. Um, a lot of people in, will look at the Thames and see brown, murky waters um, and think that that means that it's dirty and there's no life, but actually it is full of life. Until now, numbers have been increasing, but they couldn't count last year due to the pandemic, so this year is important. And anecdotally, more people on various boats and paddleboards have been coming to see and potentially scaring the seals. So you think that people are impacting the seals they're sort of putting them off maybe coming as many coming in uh yes i do believe that because we see uh inclining uh, water activity up here and a decline within the seals up here within the river well this week the official results came in and this is what they show so since uh last year we've seen what suggests a slight decline in harbour seal numbers but for us, the importance is that um, is in the long-term picture. So we have to remember that when we do these surveys, it's a snapshot of a few days in the year, and there's also environmental factors at play. So obviously a point of interest, but something that we want to look at over the long term. In fact, the numbers of grey seals have declined too. They'll now look into why and keep everything crossed for next year. Meanwhile, it was back to the shore for me. A bit of a damp one. But worth it. Sally Williams, ITV News in the Thames Estuary.